management of a cataract with floppy iris becomes easy if we preach up the nucleus. This patient is on tamsulosin for benign prostatic hyperplasia. So we are expecting floppy iris in this case. Let us observe this surgery. Main incision has been made. This is a sideboard on the right side of the main incision and a small sideboard on the left side of the main incision. There is some overlapping of conjunctiva on the cornea superiorly. And now we are going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. Here goes the dye. If we use air bubble, the dye is not diluted by aqueous and staining becomes fast. Adrenaline applied. This is a bit of phenocaine. The idea is to have maximum dilatation of the people. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Uh, Eutreta forceps is taken. This is enlargement of the main wound little bit. Capsulorexis is being done with this utreta forceps. We could see wrinkling of the anterior capsule which means the there is generalized jonular weakness. However, the capsule could be pierced by the tip of the utreta forceps and rexis is done. An adequate sized rexis has been achieved. Hydro dissection is done with basis. The nucleus is tapped and you could see that the iris is floppy. And now my plan is to use the pre-chopper. I am using the long sus nucleus sustainer, the 1.9 millimeter one. Rotated the nucleus and now pre chopping the nucleus into two heminuclei. One heminucleus is attempted to divide. I come out inject visco, the sustainer remains inside and use the pre-chopper again to make some smaller pieces. Yes, we have got some fragments. Visco and now management of the nucleus will be easy because we are not going to struggle in having nuclear fragments. It is already there. The handpiece goes, the fecundidyl goes in and I am trying to get a free nuclear fragment. Yes and I start emulsifying the free nuclear fragment. Rotate, I get another new free nuclear fragment. Ultrasonic energy used is about 60 percent, flow rate is 48 ml per minute and vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury. And the management of the nucleus has been easy 
because of this pre-chopping of the nuclear pre-chopping of the nucleus. And now the cortex is to be removed. There is some chemosis superiorly because the conjunctiva has overlapped the limbus. So, I enlarge the side port at 8 o'clock bit and using a 23G Simco and removing the cortex and I could remove most of the cortex by this side port. Anterior chamber remains very stable if we go through the side port. Cortical cleanup is done and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent SPMC. The capsular bag is also filled up. And now a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. This is a small bore cartridge and you have to go be very slow while injecting through this kind of cartridge because the lens is compressed and if we inject with high force it can go like a bullet. And now visco cleaning is to be done nicely. First I use the Simco cannula. I go behind the intraocular lens, irrigate and aspirate the space between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule come anteriorly again and remove some more visco and then I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration. If you use sodium hyaluronate, the sodium hyaluronate comes out as a mass, but SPMC we have to spend some time to remove it. Yes, nice cleaning is done. And now, this is moxifloxacin. The side port is closed. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is to be done. Though this patient used tamsulosin, because we pre-chopped the nucleus, we could not make out that there is floppy iris. If we do not pre-chop, the iris keeps coming out while chopping and managing the nucleus. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.